In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a beautiful terracotta brick wall material in minutes. Let's build this brick wall together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We are using a starter assets material preset as base. They are located in the assets panel. Let's choose the clay material and drag and drop it into the layer stack as base. I always change the random seed instead of just using the default version. Next let's adjust the color for a terracotta look. To match the surface type we have to increase the roughness and get rid of the irregularity. Further we decrease the heat range too. While we're at it we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. To break up the surface details we click on the add a layer button, typing in surface and choose surface relief. This filter is great for all kind of surface details from holes over cracks and noise to dents and falls. Let's choose the damaged surface fine preset to add some fine details. We further use a second surface relief filter and the dry ground cracks preset to add some cracks. Let's adjust the scale and contrast for smaller cracks. You can always layer similar filters to combine details and effects for a more complex result. To turn our wall into a brick wall, we bring in the brick wall filter. The presets give you a good idea of what the filter can do and are nice to use as a starting point. For our damaged brick wall we choose the English aged preset and change the brick bond to regular bond. Here we play with the cement controls to make it more rough and damaged and bring in more variation. We further bring in bit more variation for the placement and the color and tweak the dirtiness on top of the bricks. As our final filter we use dust to make it more dirty. We adjust the color to make it a bit darker and play with the density. As final touch we increase the noise for the transition slightly and match the color bit more with our brick color. To check the result in different lightning conditions we can choose between several different environment lights. Because this is an outdoor surface let's choose an outdoor environment light. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final base result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SPS AR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.